The Mastodon. Six foot five, 450. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. Making his way to the ring from the Rocky Mountains. Weighing in at 450 pounds. The man they call Vader. Vader time has led the Mastodon to become a multiple-time WCW champion. A multiple-time champion in Japan. And tonight, Vader looks ready to exhibit even more dominance. True intimidation on display when Vader enters the arena. You can bet that the Mastodon has a massive Vader bomb locked and loaded for this matchup tonight. Yeah, it doesn't matter who you are or how big you are, that move will flatten you. Yeah, now we're talking. And his opponents, first from Robbinsdale, Minnesota, Weighing in at 261 pounds, Mr. Perfect, Kurt Henning. Oh, the swagger, the boasting, the downright arrogance of this athlete. Honestly, it's more than I can bear. Good. Feel free to excuse yourself at any time. I'll be here to celebrate their well-earned appreciation of themselves. He said he'll steal the show here tonight, and he looks more than ready to deliver on that promise. From parts unknown, weighing in at 275 pounds, the Superstar! I can't watch this entrance. I heard this one backstage talking up their own work non-stop. Well, why don't they get in the ring and prove it, huh? Uh, that's what they're doing right now, Corey. Well, good. Let's see what they've got then. Weighing in at 175 pounds, Ray! Such a tenacious talent, always digging down deep to get the win. Well, that's what's endeared them so much to the WWE Universe. You know what happens when you dig down deep all the time? You bury yourself and you fall to the bottom, and that's exactly what's going to happen tonight. The look of focus and determination on his face. He wants to show the world that he can compete on this high level.
These superstars seem eager to go after each other. And in this no disqualification match, they're free to be as barbaric as they want. Without the rules to rein them in, there's no telling what these competitors are capable of. They'll go to any brutal lengths to win. I'm just glad we have EMT standing by. He went right into that turnbuckle. Neckbreaker! Targeting the arm with a big stomp. Using the elbow as a weapon. Crushing pain. Trying to find a way out. That's one way out of the submission. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Getting back into the ring. Boom! Running STO plants him. Nicely done. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Boom! You know, I have to ask, Corey, how much of an actual strategy is there in a no disqualification match? Honestly, it depends on the superstar's mindset. Some just want to get through. Others want to inflict as much damage as possible, and some just go with the flow. Know which mindset you have before the match and stick to it. These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplying. Crushing pain. Trying to find a way out. That's one way out of the submission. And that was a precisely measured attack. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Oh no, a sledgehammer. Better call. Does he get him here? And he breaks up the pinfall. Here's the pump handle. Suplex. Launched. Boom, slam. With authority. Him pay with a counter. Big and set right into the gentlemen. I feel like this match will be over in about five seconds. I think you're right, Corey. Vader ready to go. Vader, Vader on the cusp of ending it. He's back into the ring. The wind up and the pitch. Uppercut. Holy, that was an awful landing. Textbook vertical suplex. Bam. He's taking some good hits. Pile driver on its way. Spiked. Sit out. Pile driver. Oof. Tag with a punch. Stopping straight down on the arm. Oh, no, 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 no. Delivers the Bulldog! German suplex! Back suplex, no! Driven down! Counters, this could be an opportunity! On a big boot! And I think, yeah, Vader's bleeding. Oh, man, check out this power. Gorilla press slam. He's starting to struggle here. Well, this deep into a fatal four-way match, you got to expect to be a little worse for wear. Hold on. He's looking to completely render this. Could do it. And still in there. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. Assaulting the knee with purpose. Climbs back inside. Oh. Massive atomic drop. Release German. Sleeper hold cinched in deep. Fading. Fading. Oh, this one's over. Tap. He gets there a few seconds longer. And this match would have been over. The world head scissors. Saw it coming and slowed it down with the back elbow. Great wherewithal on the counter. This isn't going to be pretty. Hangman's neck break. Oh, gosh. The sledgehammer. How do you recover from that? He's struggling a bit here. This deep into a fatal four way match, it's a wonder they're not more banged up. But the grueling nature of this match is definitely getting to them now, gentlemen. I don't care who you are. You can't take it. Oh, could this be it? Believe that this whole arena is 
in shock. Yeah, but no one's more shocked than the man who thought he had a pinfall. I can't tell if it's anger in the eyes of the fact that he hasn't finished this or if it's disbelief that his opponent is still in this. I can see up to the rafters and there's not a single person sitting down. What an environment this is. All eyes are glued on this battle. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Face Buster plants him. Ooh. And able to beat Vader to the punch. What a forearm. Counter. And now there's a... The Mastodon with the setup. We know what comes next. That being the end if Vader lands this. Here it comes. Oh, the knees, the knees caught him. Could be a turning point. The leg trap, fisherman suplex. He's already spending that winner's purse. He refuses to stay down. Pure instinct. Spiked. And that's going to impair him even more. I think he's realizing the toll this match has taken on. Listen to this place. German suplex. Return fire from Vader. Look at him, pride and poise personified. Oh, the physicality on display there, unbelievable. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Yeah, this fatal four-way has certainly taken its toll, Michael. Getting tossed around. Uh-oh, that'll hurt. DDT. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. Oh, what a clubbing blow. Got it. Michael, that sledgehammer can cause some serious damage. Ooh! Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. And these attacks are spelling nothing but trouble. Oof! Exchange that for a powerbomb. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. Ooh! Oh boy, check your watch. Vader knows what time it is. Nice running crossbody. Uh oh, it's deep, and I don't think it's playable. And that lands hard with Vader on the receiving end. Vader's being taken into the deep waters here. Oh boy, check your watch. Vader knows. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. Take a look at the winner of this fatal four-way match, ladies and gentlemen. An amazing performance.
Introducing the challenger from New York City, weighing in at 235 pounds, the Superstar. And his opponent from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 220. Street Slam! Landing on top of the skull. Elbow drop. Piercing. Oh, foot just stomping down. What now? Oh, not to the belly. Climbing up top, he's got big plans! Flying! What a clothesline! The champ taking their share of hits now. Back elbow smash, nothing fancy. You can see the anguish growing on his face. Things are playing out exactly how he envisioned.
The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Death Valley, weighing in at 299 pounds. Hey, where's the horse? What are you talking about? Yeah, what horse? The high horse this superstar always seems to be on. Did Jerry Lawler write that line for you? This is a match he's craved for quite some time. He's ready and raring to go. pounds the superstar here's someone who has faced some tough odds and tougher opponents but always gives it their all look I, I know you think that's a good thing but this person could learn a thing or two about the value of running and hiding oh uh, yes the value of being a coward And you can sense the anger emanating from the competitor tonight. Eyes like a blazing fire. This is a man you don't want to be in front of right now. He's a man possessed is what he is. Though his opponent will have something to say about that. He himself has garnered a lot of experience and knows in this business you're either stepping up. Uh-oh, this is not going to look pretty. Submission being applied. I'm not quite sure if this man shouldn't tap it. He needs to find an escape route. Nice. Close line. Oh, kick connects. Shoulder tackle. Down to opponent and a double axe handle smash. Oh, knee right to the face. Axe handle finds its target. To the gut. He's looking a little off balance. Oh, look at this. Arm branch called by a Larry right to the face. Wow, what impact. Oh, 
Oh, he's got him up high. The follow-away slam. This is it. Wards off the pin at two. What do you have to do to put this guy away? Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. The advantage now is squarely in his corner. That's what he does. Keeps on the attack. He went right into that turnbuckle. Uncorked a big punch. Oh, look at his aggression in the corner. Yeah, boot right in the jaw. Oh, look at this. So ruthless. And the cover for the win! No, stops the count at two. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. He's one step ahead there. And a clothesline. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Piercing the throat. shoulder tackle. He may be in a bad way here. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. Final time, the last ride. Looking for the victory. Two count fights out at two. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Popped up. No way. Yes way. What power. But can they turn that into a win? Great officiating. As the ref noticed, he was on the ropes. Point of the elbow, nailed it. Fighting back with the counter. He's able to sidestep there. Hooked up. Shin breaker. Oh, man, what a leg drop. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. Cranking the head. He isn't finding any space to recover. Yeah, he has to devise some kind of new strategy here. He turns it around. Maybe he's found a new source of aggression to battle. Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. He's absorbing some tough hits now. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes themselves to. Oh, look at this. I don't want to be part of these problems. Don't want to be part of this crowd. And back in the ring we go. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. This could be big. Going up high. Big, big victory here tonight. Two incredible athletes gave it their absolute best. And are we going to get... There we go. Some good sportsmanship in the end. Love to see it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WCW United States Championship. I think you'd get no argument here that this man is one of the best brawlers in WWE history. The Outsider, Scott Hall. You know who he is, but you don't know why he's here. I happen to know a lot of kids who got detention for throwing toothpicks in people's faces. Well, I was never one of those kids. I would never throw a toothpick in class. 
That's because you were usually the target. Ruthless fighter, master manipulator. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the NWO got involved here tonight. You realize if the NWO spray painted your bald spot, they wouldn't have to abbreviate. Oh, stop it, Corey. <laughs> It's a big fight feel here tonight as the title is on the line. And title matches like this have a way of getting your blood flowing unlike any other match. The champ certainly has his hands full here tonight, but he looks more than ready. Introducing the challenger from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 280 pounds, Scott Hall. And his opponent from Austin, Texas, weighing in at 273 pounds. He is the WCW United States Champion, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. The champion thrives in these situations. Pride and heart will be tested. Scott Hall out here tonight likes to refer to himself as the bad guy. Hey, when you're able to run roughshod over your opponents the way a Hall does, Cole, you're allowed to call yourself anything you want. I'm sure you're thinking of a new nickname for yourself as we speak, Corey. The bad guy looking to live up to his name in this one. Well, when you get these guys in the ring, you know it's going to be good. Then you add the United States Championship to the mix, and you can bet it's going to be insane. Take the wind right out of you. Kick to the gut and, oh, brutal forearm. He gets out of the way. DDT! Ah, oh, look at this. Headbutt! Ooh, what a damaging blow. position you want to be in right now. Oh, man, taking it to the trachea. Oh, God, that hurt. Tremendous pressure being applied in this head crank. Crank in the head. The WWE Universe giving him an extra shot of adrenaline. Face Buster plants him. Corey, what's a good way to beat Scott Hall, if there even is one? Scott Hall is mean and smart, so you're going to have to be meaner and smarter. Be ready to take some serious power moves and expect a long night, but don't let yourself get intimidated or discouraged at any point. Ooh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. 
Nice side headlock applied. Oh, what a good punch. measure. Uh-oh. Look at this. He just tossed the leg. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. And that toss got some hang time. Oh, the arm's trapped. Oh, and a slam. The challenger is not in a great place. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. He's totally helpless. Got to find a way back into the ring now. Before the count runs out. Ooh, you go up, you have to come down. Taking this one back to the ring now. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. And look at this now. Bad intentions coming with this hole. Oh, here it is. The abdominal stretch. Grabbing the end. Sharp elbows. And a hip toss to escape. Down on the shoulder. Scott now lacking any signs of resistance. Hall's opponent showing he's even meaner and tougher thus far. Suplex! Here's a pin for the title. Strong kick out there. Showing his determination there with that kick out. Oh, here it comes. The boom, bionic elbow. Oh, side coming. Scott trying to bring the fight back in this one. Oh, jarring back elbow. The champ getting put to the test here. Yeah, as Hall is up to his bad guy moniker with that offense. And that stops whatever Hall had intended. Scoop slam sets things up. And the unabated offense continues. You gotta wonder, what does this do to Hall's confidence? Hall doesn't look like he has any fight left in him. Another big move! Oh, driver! Spiked him. Another one bites the dust to the champ. Cover! Kick out the hole! how much winning this title means to give everything you've got. I don't know how much you can have left after that, but you've got to be impressed. That move has brought victory before, but not on this occasion. Might be time to think outside the box. These competitors have been going deep into their arsenal all match, but have not found a way to end it at all. Swings in momentum. Every push has been cut. Not allowing that to go on any longer. Oh, trying to dislocate the shoulder. Ah, look at this. Oh, right. breaker. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. Kick out. That is just pure instinct at this point. Uh-oh, getting ready to elbow drop. What the leg? Look at this. He just tossed the leg. Oh, oh this. What a headbutt. And Hall fending him off. Scott Hall clearly feels like he has a W within his grasp. Oh, that's just insulting. The champ looking out of sorts. That brawling offense from Hall is weighing heavily now. Scott Hall knocked him. Did you see that? Oh no, trapping the arm. A vicious stomps to the hand. From the top. Diving elbow drop, are you kidding me? For the win. Two. Oh, and he got him. Oh, oh and a kick out of two. How is that not three?
Say hello to the bad guy and goodbye to his opponent. Outsider's Edge from Scott Hall. Gonna see a new Cover. champ. He kicked out at two. What a display of stamina. The champ showing they are truly worthy of this title. But things might only get harder from here. Guys, Hall can't believe it. That move has finished off so many of his competitors. The WWE Universe is on its feet. And deservedly so. These superstars are holding nothing back. Just ruthless. Oh. Inverted atomic drop. Ooh. Ah, look at this. Just cranking it out. Crank in the head. Great reversal. With the counter. Big, big, big. The champion into the cover. What? You gotta be kidding me. Incredible resiliency. into the corner leaving himself open here is this what it's gonna take to end this match going all the way to the top high risk fall away slam critical time for scott hall setting his opponent up for the outsider's edge we can have a new champion What a shift into the tides with this championship match. Tonight is definitely a night to celebrate, but let's not lose sight of the fact they have a long road ahead of them now. Oh, yeah! The Hall of Famer is in the house. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Sarasota, Florida, weighing in at 239 pounds, Macho Man Randy Savage. A superstar who has always marched to the beat of his own victory unique drum. Yeah, the Macho Man Randy Savage notoriously used to say the cream rises to the top. Well, I would say that Savage is proof of that statement. Uh, listen to these people. The Macho Man has the entire WWE Universe in the palm of his hand. Nobody quite like the Macho Man. And his opponent from Venice Beach, California, weighing in at 250 pounds, the icon. I can't watch this entrance. I heard this one backstage talking up their own work nonstop. Why don't they get in the ring and prove it, huh? Uh, that's what they're doing right now, Corey. Well, good. Let's see what they've got then.
A very high-pressure situation ahead for this guy, but he is more than ready for it. And here we have a superstar who's been grinding his teeth at the Performance Center as of late. Yeah, a consistent work ethic is what you're talking about, Michael. He's not someone who will rest on his laurels. He never has been, and that dedication is what puts him in position to win tonight. And on the other end, make no mistake about it, Savage is legit. But my question is, will he be able to stay focused and not get distracted by outside agitators? I think that's much to do about nothing, Corey. Macho Man is like a heat-seeking missile. He always stays locked in on his target with unreal tenacity. Crash landing powerbomb. The power, the strength, and now just pressing. That is something else. Rough landing. Incoming. Power bomb. Just another insane display of power. Ouch. Crackle. Pop. Ah, oh, right into the shoulder. That's got to hurt. Savage with amazing reflexes. Big back body drop. Oof, kick finds it. Big time atomic drop. I don't have you walking funny. Oh, Ooh, what a knee lift. Somebody better check his nose. This one is headed outside, guys. Up to the electric chair, down for the drop. Sometimes it's hard to pin down exactly what makes Macho Man Randy Savage one of the best. Then why are you trying to pigeonhole Macho Man like that? Randy Savage has always been unpredictable, and that's what's made him successful. That's what gets him the win tonight. Uh-oh. No! Savage looked a bit distracted there. And he tosses him back in now. Oh, man. Catches the leg. Suplex brings him down. Savage letting us all know he's too hot. Saving us from having to sit through that. Punishing power slam. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Into the pay window. Kicks out before the two count. Somehow still has the energy for a quick kick out. Inverted atomic drop. Boom. Oh, saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. Boom. Drop kick. Uh-oh. Cross body. Whoa. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. Oh, attacked in the midsection. Bashed right into the post on the outside. Oh, I heard a snap. Inflicting oh. more damage to the leg. Hoisted up. Hard landing on the gut. And now gets tossed into the ring. And up the turnbuckles we go. Up high. Oh, a huge miss there. Sleeper hold cinched in deep. Fading. And breaks out of the sleeper. Looking wobbly in the corner. Gets him with the counter. What a oh, shot. That'll fillet your chest. Uh-oh. Boom! Scorpion death drop. 
Savage gonna need a miracle. And he's still in the game. That was incredible resilience, gentlemen. Macho Man's toughness on display tonight. And it may just take going to the well one more time with that maneuver to gain the pinfall. To the face. What a redirect. Sequence of reversals there. Knee right to the gut. It could be over here. This is it. He breaks the ref's count after one. If that won't beat him, I'm not sure any Corey, the superstars getting right back in this match. It's almost unbelievable what we're seeing with our own eyes. Believe it, Corey, believe it. Back body drop. Exclamation point. Spine bust. He may get the three count right here. I think so. Oh, and a kick out. So close, so close. The madness may be on empty. Savage could be done. the tables. Randy is going to look to press on the advantage. Maybe Savage has found a new source of aggression to battle back with. Up and down. What a slam. Wow, what a strike to the back. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be pretty. All the way out. Suplex. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. From the top rope. Oh, and he doesn't connect. Oh, will it be? Shoulder shoots up before two. Unbelievable display of will in the late stages of this matchup. Ripping at the eyes. Ah, oh, that'll scratch you up. And Savage continuing the fight deep into the matchup. The Macho Man's focus has to turn towards ending this very soon. from the suplex. Randy Savage heads up. Savage now perched high atop the ropes. Diamond elbow drop! Macho Man hit it! And the kick out. Somehow, someway, escapes defeat. Still alive. The Macho Man is livid about that kick out, but he needs to get back into the match. Down to Odin. And a double axe handle smash. Randy Savage, the cream of the crop. Macho Man with the unpredictable offense, and it's successful thus far. Oof. Oh, what a knee. Top rope, here we go. He's reeling, slowly getting up. Up high. Wow, cross body. From the ring all the way to the floor. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. He's going for it all. Perched on the top rope. Ooh Pinpoint devastation from Savage. Savage did it. Here is your winner, Macho Man, Randy Savage. A taxing victory here. Getting it done the hard way. Tonight's victory was Savage at his best. We have Macho Madness running through the entire WWE Universe. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring 
from Houston, Texas, weighing in at 251 pounds, the Superstar. A matchup like this, it's one that the locker room has wanted to see. It's one that the WWE Universe has wanted to see. It's one that I've been waiting to see, and it's about to go down. This match has everyone backstage buzzing. He is an exciting competitor to watch. And his opponent, from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 275 pounds, Scott Steiner. Social media has been buzzing since this match was announced, and I think the competitors plan on delivering on that hype. He's in perhaps the best physical condition of his life. He knows what it takes to reach the top here in WWE. Now, this is a superstar coming into this one with a major chip on his shoulder. Feels like he's not gotten the respect for the division that he's deserved lately. Yeah, but respect has to be earned in matches like this, not just handed out. If he can prove himself here, maybe he will get the respect he believes he deserves. Gonna have to dig down deep here tonight. And he has his work cut out for him here, facing off against someone who feels he's been disrespected lately. Someone who's really come out here with something to prove. I do not know that I agree he's been disrespected lately, but if he wants respect, it would do him good to win this match. No way! Oh, no! Now, that was a harebrained idea to try that. I was trying to find a way to attack, but completely wiped out. Thrown back in under the ropes. And this might not have a pleasant ending. That's how you dominate your opponent. Oh, and a stop. Oh, he's looking to completely render this leg useless. Oh, that hurts. He's absorbed some damage already. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. Big forearm. Thunderous club comes down. Very effective. Big right connects. Oh, ho, ho. meet the backside of an elbow. Power bomb dropped him. Looking for a little bit of high risk here, it seems. Top row. Oh, the old Harlem hangover. He thinks he has it. Oh, my God. He's still in the match. He got the shoulder up right at the last moment. Staggering to his feet, but he won't like what's coming next. Oh, my God. I know what's next. Match kick. Man. This one is done. Makes the cover. 
Oh, he gets the shoulder up before three. He's taking some serious hurt, but somehow he's still in this. I think he managed that kick out on pure instinct alone. Listen, that should have ended things. And look at his face. At this point, you have to believe he's losing some faith in himself. Gotta hurt. Torturous focus on the leg, punishing the leg. Oh, blow to the bread basket. Oh, turned it into a rocking hit. Trying to debilitate the capability to stand. From the top. Oh, an elbow drop. Oh. Shoulders down. Yeah, no, he doesn't get the three. Getting that shoulder up now is... Okay, consider that a harsh lesson. Crash landing, powerbomb. Oh boy, he's stalking him. Watching for an opening. Oh, uh, here we go. Suplex. Wow. Oh. What? Thanks for coming. Will he be able to capitalize? It was almost all over. Almost a three count. Yeah, talk about a close call. Throwing everything in the kitchen sink in there, but to no avail. Bodies must be writhing in pain right now. The breaking point must be on the horizon. But yet they continue forward, showing no desire to quit. Uh-oh. Well scattered reversal there. Pow, what a shot. Ugh, gets put into the barricade. Gets inside the ring. Put it in a position now. Can't prepare your face for that. He turns it around. Boom. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. DDT. Oof, man, what a hit. Military press. Ooh. Stirring back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. Oh my God, I know what's next. Ash kick, man. That might just do it. Looking for the victory. There's two. And that will end it. Here is your winner. The Big effort tonight. A well-earned victory here tonight. We call a lot of matches, but this one's going to stick in my mind for weeks to come. I agree with you on that, Corey. This one was unforgettable. When did they start allowing rattlesnakes in the Hall of Fame, Cole? I'm looking at the toughest SOB in WWE history. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. And is for the WCW Hardcore Championship. Introducing the challenger from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve. This is a man who instilled defiance in an entire generation. Not many fans in the boardroom or the locker room, but beloved by the WWE Universe. Absolutely no one comes close to the fury of Stone Cold Steve Austin.
And introducing the challenger, standing at seven feet tall, weighing in at 500 pounds. I hope you're ready for some intense action because we've got a WCW Hardcore Championship match coming your way. And you can bet these competitors will do everything in their power to add some prestige to a championship that hasn't always been looked upon with great fondness. He's been undergoing a lot of training for tonight, not taking this title opportunity lightly. It's a hostile takeover! Introducing the challenger from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 328 pounds, Kevin Nash! Byron, who can forget Bash at the Beach 1996, the formation of the NWO. The entire world of sports entertainment, Corey, was turned on its head. They were shocked. It was a surreal scene, and that charge was led by Kevin Nash and Scott Hall. He has poured blood, sweat, and tears into obtaining this title opportunity. Now, he needs to close the deal and become champion. We are in for a treat tonight. Former ECW star who has had unmatched success in WCW. And the champion from El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 228 pounds. He is the WCW Hardcore Champion, Eddie Gunn. Former WCW Cruiserweight and United States Champion, a man who's held the ECW television title. And above all, Eddie Guerrero doesn't care if he's liked. Eddie Guerrero always sporting that cocky look on his face, but to Guerrero's credit, he always backs it up inside the ring. He may be a cruiserweight, but he can take on anyone. A title coveted by legends and hungry young talent alike. Four superstars battling it out in this fatal four way. No countouts in this match it really allows fatal four ways to have as much action outside the ring as inside the ring. Oh, Nash gets cut off. Able to sidestep it. A oh, really breaker. Ouch. Oh, what a combo. I oh, had that well scouted. Stomping. Ouch. Elbow right to the heart. With a championship on the line. Fights the shoulder up at one. Somehow still in this fight. Not down and out yet. Well, that's one way to leave the ring, I suppose. It's 
Coming next, a back suplex. Ooh, DDT delivered. There's certainly an element of danger inherent in a no disqualification match, isn't there, Corey? More than a lot of people realize. It's not just the superstar in the ring you have to worry about. You have to worry about everyone in the locker room that they're aligned with. The odds in this match can swing with or against you so fast. I don't know what they're looking for here. He has a kendo stick in hand, and this place just turned into South Swanson Street. A oh, kendo stick wrapped around the head. The challenger's looking shaken. Caught with the boot. He has been here before, and he knows what he needs to do. Short jab. Just raining down those shots to the back of the neck. Double axe handle. Oof. Oh, man. Ooh. Just one right after the other. Can't be stopped. Oh. And now thrown back into the ring. Stone Cold reverses. Taking it outside the ring now. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal form. Into the barricade. Set him up. Punch lands. From behind. Back suplex. What's he open to find down there? Shades of the old EC dub as a kendo stick is introduced to the proceedings. Holy meet the barricade. Neckbreaker. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. Boom. A bad place to be for the challenger. Well, this deep into a fatal four-way match, you got to expect to be a little worse for wear. Inverted atomic drop. Ooh. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Oh, man, meeting the barricade. Shifts it back onto him. And he slides him back to the mat. Sits straight into the barricade. And Nash didn't see that coming. He's got him in his grasp. Oh, Ooh, what a knee lift. Somebody better check his nose. Oh, man, meeting the barricade. Boom! <laughs> oh! Oh, colliding with the barricade. Now would be the time for everyone to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. Power slam. Big Kev looking for some fight from his opponent. And when he's got that chair, you know he wants to send a serious message. Those last hits rattled the champ. This deep into a fatal four-way match, it's a wonder they're not more banged up. But the grueling nature of this match is definitely getting to them now, gentlemen. On the outside, look out. That'll do it. Big back body draw. Oh, you see the height on that? He knows how to avoid contact. Colossal. Now a pin for the championship. And he kicks out of the pin and won. Still going to take a massive effort. Fishing for something beneath the ring. The champ's eyes were glazed over. He returns to the ring. <laughs> setting up for something here. Ah, oh, it took too long setting up for that maneuver. Absolutely spiked. DDT. Kevin Nash about to establish his dominance. What a powerbomb. The title Makes is definitely here. I think the paradigm has shifted. Austin with a stunner. We can have a new champion. Two. He's in a precarious situation. Oh, by the hair, whipped across the ring. That ain't right. 
Where's the honor in that? Don't call Steve Austin as him where he wants him. Quick return to the ring. Deep arm drag. Tilt the world into the arm drag. Uh-oh. Counters right into the swift chop block. Guerrero was ready there. Suplex, oh. here it comes. Nicely done. Oh, what a nasty knee look. Here we go. You ready for it? Shoot with a championship on the line. A kick out by the challenger, keeping the championship dream alive. I don't believe it. How did the challenger survive that? By the skin of their teeth. And don't expect the chance to start going easy on them now. And I think to get the pinfall, you have to try that maneuver one more time. We're reaching a point where these superstars must be hurt, must be vulnerable. And who's going to find a way to capitalize on that vulnerability? Letting his opponent know he can take on the world right now. Here's the pin title on the line! Here we go! Oh, by a hair, this title fight continued! Here we go! You ready for it? Oh, that hurt right to the kidney! Golly! He leaves the ring, and there's no countouts in this one. Oh, look at that torch of their opponent. Uh-oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. Just one step ahead. Oh, right to the kidneys. And Eddie remains not at all shy when it comes to dishing out damage throughout this match. Austin being tested in a way he rarely has over the course of his career. Oh, drop kick. There's nothing off limits? Nope. This place is going insane. The ground beneath my feet is shaking. And now Nash is bleeding profusely, guys. No clue what he hopes to find down there. Oh, my goodness. The champ's shoulders are down. They got it! New champ! What a moment! Here is your winner, and the new WCW Hardcore Champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin! What an edge of your seed ending to this fatal four-way. We saw something special from each of these men tonight. I thought all four of them had a shot at winning this match. And here they come. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Happy Corbin from New York City, weighing in at 290 pounds, Brad Shaw. Highly anticipated matchup. The competitors in this one have been waiting all day to get their hands on each other. He is in perhaps the best shape of his career, and he will need that with a competition level this high.
Never trust a snake. And his opponent from Stone Mountain, Georgia, weighing in at 249 pounds, Jake the Snake Roberts. The time has arrived to embrace the darkness. A man who sits with the serpents at Lucifer's table. You know, Jake the Stake Roberts, creator of one of the most devastating moves, the DDT. So sudden, so powerful. That maneuver has brought the Snake much success. Looking into the eyes of this competitor tonight, you know he understands the significance of this match. This is an opportunity to make big headway on the roster. Then you have a man like Jake the Snake Roberts. Absolutely brutal and menacing, while also being captivating and enthralling. Yeah, for whatever reason, it's simply hard to look away when Jake is inflicting pain on his opponents. Reversal! Can he take advantage? Comes down across the head with the axe handle. Big forearm. Stiff headbutt. Carefully measured elbow drop, followed by another. Unleashing a barrage on their opponent. Knew what was coming there. And another counter. Counters on counters. Technical prowess on display. Jake the Snake is quite a technical wrestler, something that is often overshadowed by his personality. What's the strategy to go against someone with Jake's abilities? Roberts does have a technical side, but sometimes technical wrestlers can falter due to an inability to adapt. Being spontaneous and adapting as the match carries on should pay off in spades against a superstar like the Snake. Caught with a lariat. And Jake perhaps not the only one here who can be captivating with his brutality. Enough already. Bang! Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Pinning down their opponent's arm. Driving a knee into the arm. Oh, shot right to the kidney. Oh. And again. Great way to wear down your opponent. Ooh, well planted knee. Ouch. Jake the Snake as cold and calculating as they come. He's able to beat a two count. Refusing to give up even an inch of ground as this match continues. Oh, he fights Jake back. Uh-oh. Look at this. Uh-oh is right. Fall away slam for the victory here. And a strong kick out in one. I don't know what more this superstar can do to put him away. Life left in Roberts. Him. What a kick out at two. I don't know how he just kicked out, and I'll tell you what, I don't really think he knows either. It must be demoralizing knowing you've unleashed your best shot on your opponent to no avail. Counter with Roberts. Oh, and I rake. That's not right, but effective. This match is brutality starting to show on him. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Jake is bleeding profusely now. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. The snake with the arm ringer. Short close. Here he goes for the win. And he closes it out.
A kick out at two. How in the world did he kick out? Setting up. Nice suplex. Vertical suplex. The snake with sinister intentions. Arm wrench. And the DDT! Jake may have put the exclamation on this one. Shoulders down. Oh, and he just kicked out. Oh, I thought that was game over. Pure guts to kick out there. That was a golden opportunity to end things. Now he's got to hope the opportunity presents itself again. Agonizing. We are beginning to reach a point of desperation in the... Up high. Knee drop. Obviously still has some fight left. Is this just another one of Jake's mind games? And finds a counter. Boom! Running STO plants him. Nicely done. Stiff headbutt. Oh, and a wicked clothesline! And that might be just Makes a cover to win. Oh, not yet. They just got the shoulder up. I don't know how he did it, but he's hanging in there. Just how much pain is he willing to endure in this match? All of that work, all of these big moves, and it still didn't earn the fall. When you're in an atmosphere like this, when you can't hear yourself think because the crowd's so loud, you find a way to do superhuman things. That's what these combatants are doing here. We might be close to the end. There is no way this can go on for much longer. And he gets delivered back into the ring. To the gut. Effectively using the knee. And Jake showing that he's still not done going on the offensive. That's Robert saying he'll fight until every breath is out of his body. Oof. Continuing to work on the arm with a drop in the knee for more punishment. Lights out. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Jake the Snake. We know what's next. DDT planted him. Jake may have put the exclamation on this one. Cover. That's it. Roberts gets it done. Here is your winner, Jake. The Snake Roberts! I'm still in shock. This was definitely a grueling match for all competitors. No one was willing to give even a single inch of ground in this battle. At times, it seemed like these competitors were totally deadlocked, but here you see the one who prevailed.